DaVinci Resolve 14 has a massive set of editing tools designed for both creative editorial and online finishing. The edit page has a full multi-track timeline across the bottom, and viewers for the source clips and your timeline at the top. On the left is the browser, which contains all your bins. Resolve provides you with a master bin that contains all your content, but you can create your own custom bins to better organize timelines and source media. To create a new bin, just select it from the menu. You can then import the footage directly to the bin by dragging it from the desktop or using import from the file menu. You can open bins into their own windows and drag footage between them. Bins can be viewed in icon or list view. In list view, you can customize the columns and save your own layout, or choose an existing layout from the menu. Smart bins make it easy to find shots in large projects because they automatically display footage based on metadata. For instance, if you want to create a bin that contains all the aerial shots that have airplanes in them, just set up the search rules. All the clips that match the criteria are previewed in the browser area and appear in the smart bin. To make a basic edit, you can drag and drop clips from the bin directly into the timeline. Double clicking on a clip loads it into the viewer, where you can mark an endpoint using the I key. Once you review your clip, clicking the O key will mark your out point. Then just drag the clip into the timeline viewer to use the edit overlay, which gives you fast access to the seven most common types of edits. For source clips and audio, you can simultaneously view the clip with its audio waveform. This makes it easy to navigate based on visual cues in the waveform. Here, we can easily locate where our interview begins and mark an endpoint. In this film, making a documentary about how the airplanes changed the world, it was really important to go out and shoot the real world. As the clip plays, we can use the waveform so we don't clip any of his words with our out point. To insert this clip, we'll position the playhead between two clips in the timeline, now, just drag and choose Insert from the Edit Overlay. Another overlay lets you quickly drag the video only, or audio only, to the timeline. Once your timeline is roughly assembled, you'll find all of Resolve's editing and trimming tools organized under the Edit, Trim, Timeline, and Clip menus. Here, you'll find dozens of tools and commands for precisely trimming shots. Quick trims can be done simply by locating a point in the timeline and choosing to extend, ripple, or roll the start or end of a clip to the playhead's position. More refined trimming can be done using the Trim tool. The Trim tool is context sensitive. You can perform different kinds of trims like ripple, roll, slip, and slide based on where you click, so you don't have to keep changing tools. And when you slip and slide, the 4-up display shows you everything you need to see, so you can make confident edit decisions. Selecting a cut selects video and its associated audio, but if you click while holding the Option key, you can create split edits by selecting just the video or audio separately. Choosing dynamic trimming from the Trim menu allows you to use J, K, and L keys for trimming with tape-style slow-motion scrubbing. You can even select multiple edit points on different tracks to asymmetrically trim in different directions at the same time. DaVinci Resolve's unique ability to trim multiple clips at once makes it fast and easy to trim all of these credits to fit the end of the program. Using the project settings, all of the keyboard shortcuts are completely customizable. You can load a preset keyboard from another system or create your own from scratch. Just type in the new keyboard shortcut for any command. Then save your settings. When you are ready to add transitions, simply right-click any edit point. Then, 
choose a duration from the contextual menu. Double-clicking a transition will open the inspector at the top right of the screen. Here, you can make adjustments to duration, alignment, and other parameters like the style and timing. For more control over the acceleration of your transition, you can open the curve editor in the timeline and customize the ease in, ease out settings. You can save transitions by right clicking and creating a transition preset. Once you give it a name, the transition, along with its current settings, will now appear in the effects library, so you can use it again. In DaVinci Resolve Studio, the effects library also contains over two dozen Resolve FX, including different blur effects, lens flare, light rays, watercolor, and more. Once you drag an effect onto a clip, you can adjust its parameters in the inspector. The inspector also shows parameters for position, scaling, and cropping, all of which you can animate. In this example, we'll enable keyframing and scale the title down and position it lower in the frame. Now at the end of the animation, we'll reposition and resize it so it's centered. You can also use the on-screen motion path to smooth animations, add new keyframes, or completely change the motion path. To change the speed of a clip, right-click it in the timeline and choose Change Clip Speed. Enter the amount, set your options, and you are done. In addition to static speed changes, you can also create re-time effects with variable speed ramps. To do that, we'll use the re-time controls. First, find the frame where you want the speed to change. Here, you add a speed point from the drop-down menu. Then select the precise speed you want the different sections of the clip. If you're in trim mode, your changes will ripple the timeline. You can use the retime curves to ease the change in speed by clicking on the smooth button. The retime curves can also be used to modify the variable retiming. You can add markers to the timeline or to source clips. In DaVinci Resolve 14, marker information is displayed along with notes as an overlay in the source viewer. Markers can also be seen in a bins list view. You can use markers to identify multiple ranges within a clip and drag the marked ranges from the bin directly to the timeline, just like mark in and out points. With the release of version 14, DaVinci Resolve includes the most powerful audio editing features found in any nonlinear editing system. In the age of airplanes, we've become explorers once again. In the timeline, you can perform subframe trimming. and quickly adjust the volume of any clip. In the age of airplanes, we've become explorers once again. If you want to animate the volume, just use the mixer. Aviation went from impossible Double-clicking on any channel strip brings up a pan window, including support for 5.1 surround sound. In just a flicker of time, like There's even a parametric EQ located in the inspector. 
For advanced control over your audio, DaVinci Resolve 14 has an entirely new Fairlight audio page. You'll find a complete set of tools for audio recording, sweetening, mixing, and mastering. The Deliver page is where you define the output of your timeline. At the top left are common preset icons for things such as YouTube and Vimeo, so you can get your projects online fast. All settings are in three tabs. One for video, one for audio, and one for the output file settings. Whether you are outputting to the web, digital cinema, or round tripping with another application, all the controls are at your fingertips. DaVinci Resolve 14 combines the world's most advanced editor with Hollywood's favorite color corrector and all new Fairlight audio tools.